There are national treasures and then there's Rolf Harris. From the 1950s, the entertainer has never been off our screens. The musician, the TV presenter. Sadly, Splodge didn't make it. The artist. He even painted and charmed the Queen on her 80th birthday. You're OK with the smell of turpentine, I hope. Well, we'll tell, won't we, soon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But the Crown's case against Rolf Harris painted a dark and disturbing picture, that of an untouchable entertainer who targeted the young and the vulnerable. The prosecution branded him a sinister sex offender, a demon lurking beneath a charming exterior. Can you tell what it is yet? Condemnation of Rolf Harris has been swift. This is explosive, it's dramatic, it's devastatingly distressing but it's mostly distressing for his victims, of course, and I'm glad today they've got justice. In his long career, Harris helped teach a generation to swim. In another film, he even warned children of the dangers of being abused. He spoke of why the project was so important. You're giving them uh, advice, go and tell an adult that you trust, and in a lot of cases you'll find that adults maybe don't believe you. They'll say, oh, don't be so stupid, or... How dare you tell such lies? Rolf Harris encouraged children to be wary of strangers, but in this case, it was one of the most familiar faces in the country who betrayed their trust and abused children. Peter Cardwell, Five News.